You know, the Kentucky Derby might be the biggest race in America, but that doesn't mean it's only for American horses to partake in. All the way back in 2019, my first ever Derby profile was about a Japanese racehorse making the bold leap to America, Master Fencer. It wasn't a good video, but it was an important one, because that video turned out way more successful than I could have imagined and inspired me to start this horse racing YouTube channel as you see it today. So without Master Fencer, there is no Sketchy the Horse Guy. So it brings me great joy to cover another Japanese Kentucky Derby contender. Another day, another Derby profile. Today's episode's going to be on Crown Pride. Let's go. So with all that time spent talking, it's about time I cut to the chase and talk about this horse's stats. Now there isn't a lot, but there is enough to talk about. Crown Pride has raced a total of four times in his career with three victories and no in the money finishes, and total earnings of 734,569 bucks. The way he got that money was thanks to his major races, or more specifically, just one. His victory in the UAE Derby, which gave him 100 Kentucky Derby points, and his slot in this Kentucky Derby. But this technically isn't the first time he ran in a Road to the Kentucky Derby race. He ran in the Hyacinth Stakes, which is a part of the Japanese Road to the Kentucky Derby series. He didn't do very good, coming in 6th place, however, it was very excusable because at the start of the race, he got squeezed out and was sent back to last place immediately, so he had to play catch up the rest of the way. Coming from behind ain't exactly his style. His running style, like many, many other Kentucky Derby horses, and I'm getting real tired of saying this, is Stalker. He stays around 4th or 5th, and then moves up and takes over the lead. We've seen this a whole lot, so we're just gonna move on. But we're not moving on immediately to highest speed figure, because there really isn't one to go off of. Equibase doesn't do speed figures for international races, so it's just not applicable. So let's go straight to the strengths and weaknesses of Crown Pride. Now while the weaknesses are incredibly apparent to anybody, the strengths are still there as well. Mainly in Master Fencer, who ran surprisingly well to come in 5th place in the Kentucky Derby. And Master Fencer was a way less qualified horse to be in the Kentucky Derby than Crown Pride was, never having any graded stakes victories going into that Kentucky Derby. But yet, he was able to finish 5th. So the idea that he can't run well in the Kentucky Derby just because he was bred in Japan is simply not true, and I think is very lazy to say. As well as that, the Japanese breed is only getting stronger, with, in most recent years, Japanese horses now just recently taking both Breeders' Cup races and sweeping the Dubai World Cup races. So the Japanese breed doesn't look any stronger than now. As well as that, the UAE Derby is a mile and 3 sixteenths, which is only a hundred yards shorter than the Kentucky Derby distance, so he has the closest thing to proving himself at Derby distance, so we know he can handle it. But with all of that, there is still the glaring weaknesses of any internationally bred horse. He's never raced on American soil before, so even though horses like Master Fencer proved that it was possible, the ability for an international horse to handle American dirt is very much individual and not something that you can really generalize. Just because it's possible doesn't mean it will happen. International horses from other countries, such as England for example, have a very widespread set of results when it comes to running on American soil. Some run really well, and some finish dead last, like Mendelssohn and Thundersnow. And speaking of Mendelssohn and Thundersnow, the UAE Derby is one of the worst Kentucky Derby preps on record. The best finish from a UAE Derby winner was 6th by China Visit in the year 2000. And in more recent memory, two of the last five UAE Derby winners finished last in their respective Kentucky Derbies. Those were Thundersnow, who didn't finish, and Mendelssohn, who finished 20th. And the best finish from those five winners was 8th. So, if he somehow does win the Kentucky Derby, he will both be the first Japanese bred to win the Kentucky Derby, and also the first horse to do the UA and Kentucky Derby double. Something that has not even been close to achieved yet. So while a lot of things are looking up for him that some people are probably going to overlook, I feel like the criticism of Crown Pride is still pretty reasonable and justified. And for that, I will give Crown Pride a B- grade. A slightly underappreciated horse, but he has a lot to prove. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this derby profile, comment down other horses I should cover in future episodes, and see you guys next time.